Well, tonight back at home, we've had a very comfortable night. Temperatures already in the lower 80s outside, mm -hmm. which is great stuff. The humidity a bit high out there this evening. Taking a live look downtown at 6th in Congress. A little bit quieter than this time last night. Not as many folks out and about. Current temperature right now sitting at 81 here in downtown Austin. No wind to speak of. Dew point numbers are high sitting at 70 right now. So that is uh, some muggy stuff out there. And that's going to be the case as you wake up early tomorrow morning. It's going to be a very muggy but comfortable start to the day. Where we had that rain-cooled air today, you can see most of the readings are in the upper 70s to low 80s right along I-35. We're at 81 here, 82 up in Georgetown and 75 currently in San Marcos. You head out in the hill country. Temperature's a little bit warmer still because they did not experience that rain-cooled air today. 84 currently in Mason and 84 also in Lano. Now, Satellite and radar showed a little mid-level trough that moved through the state through the day today. Gave us those isolated showers off towards the east. We saw about a half inch of rain out uh, in Fayette County earlier today. We've got another little area of disturbed weather making its way through western Louisiana into eastern Texas this evening. And this uh, system is going to continue to kind of push off towards the west through the night tonight. And will give us another just slight chance of rain again tomorrow. About a 20% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon hours tomorrow. So that is good news. If you didn't get the rain today, we may have another shot of it again tomorrow. Out in the tropics, we're continuing to watch two tropical storms, although one, I don't even know if we can really call this much of a tropical storm. This is Florence right here. A very weak uh, tropical storm winds of only 40 miles an hour. And as we head a little bit closer towards our neck of the woods, we've got tropical storm Ernesto, which is actually getting a little bit better organized tonight. Now the winds still at 50 miles an hour. It is moving to the west a little bit slower now at about 15 miles an hour and the pressure at about 1,003. That's dropped about one millibar since the last update at 8 o'clock this evening. You notice those forecast tracks. These have continued the last couple of runs to push farther and farther to the south. And this uh, forecast model run to actually takes the official forecast track and shifts it a little bit farther to the south as well. We've also noticed a few little slight changes, one of them being the intensity forecast, making it into a very weak hurricane with Category 1 strength winds when it makes landfall Tuesday night near northern Belize or the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. And then eventually, as it heads back into the Bay of Campeche around Wednesday evening. It does keep this storm as a tropical storm. So something we'll be keeping our eyes on the next couple of days. One thing that is certain, it's not going to be affecting our weather all that much here in Texas. May see a few high clouds out in South Texas, but for us, I think it's just going to be the same little weather patterns, these little ones moving through our area in the next few days. So tonight, we'll see scattered clouds. Tomorrow, we'll watch cloud cover in the morning, turning to a few isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon, just like we saw today. I think temperatures, again, will stay below 100 tomorrow afternoon, but then this system will pass to the west of us, and we'll see more sunshine for Tuesday and Wednesday. And that means highs back in the triple digits. So tonight, 75 for that overnight low. We'll top off at 98 tomorrow with light east to southeast winds. At about 4 to 8, I think um, about a 20% chance of rain tomorrow. We'll taper it to about 10% on Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the low 100s. We'll get back to around 98 with a 20% chance of rain as another little weak system moves in on Thursday. And then we'll remain pretty warm as we head into the weekend.